Look up stuff about the Restrict Act and the upcoming potential banning of TikTok. The Restrict Act is basically Patriot Act 2.0 and is an attempt by the U.S. government to create its own Great Firewall. Establishes a risk-based process tailored to the rapidly changing technology and threat environment by directing the Department of Commerce to identify and mitigate foreign threats to information and communications technology products and services. Great. Patriot Act 2.0. Okay. The Restrict Act establishes a risk-based process tailored to the blah, blah. This measured risk-based approach, blah, blah. The Restrict Act would require the Secretary of Commerce to establish procedures to identify, deter, disrupt, prevent, prohibit, and mitigate transactions involving information and communications technology products in which any foreign adversary has any interest and poses undue or unacceptable risk to national security. This is exactly why I said that focusing on TikTok was the wrong approach, because nobody's going to go, oh, well, it's step one to targeting data mining and all these social media companies. They're just going to go like, oh, well, it's anti-China, you know? Prioritize evaluation of ICT products used in critical infrastructure. Ensure compressive actions, comprehensive actions to address risk. Educate and public. Yeah, okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Wonderful. You could be subject to 20 years in prison if you use a VPN to access banned sites. Really? This article is saying that you're wrong. You will not be, but from Daily Dot, you will not be banned for 20 years if you use TikTok after it's banned despite internet fear mongering. It's a nonsensical rumor. It's been a big, it's been a week, big week for TikTok on Capitol Hill as its CEO testified before Congress. Blah, 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 blah. A provision in the bill, though, is causing alarm online with users believing the Restrict Act would jail Americans for up to 20 years for using a VPN. Although the bill doesn't explicitly cite VPNs, it notes anyone violating the statutes of the law would face stiff penalties and that, if made law, the government would be able to use many means of monitoring internet communication to enforce it. The stipulation for punishments in the bill involves violations that threaten national security and try to undermine elections, not likely intended for the average user just trying to post videos. A spokesperson for Warner explicitly said the punishments in the bill would not be used against ordinary citizens. I trust them. Under the terms of the bill, someone must be engaged in sabotage or subversion of American communications technology products and services, creating catastrophic effects in U.S. critical infrastructure, or interfering in altering the result of a federal election in order to be eligible for any kind of criminal penalty. To be extremely clear, this legislation is aimed squarely at companies like Kapersky, Huawei, and TikTok that create systemic risks to the United States national security, not at individual users. I trust them completely. And this is my first TikTok. Now, this is not only my first TikTok, it is a TikTok about TikTok. Now, this week, the CEO of TikTok came and testified before Congress hey everyone, this as is there is AOC, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, and this is my first TikTok. Now, this week, the CEO of TikTok came and testified before Congress as there is growing rumblings and discussion over a nationwide ban on the app. Do I believe TikTok should be banned? No. Why should TikTok not be banned? First of all, I think it's important to discuss how unprecedented of a move this would be. The United States has never before banned a social media company from existence, from operating in our borders. And this is an app that has over 150 million Americans on it. Some of the arguments about banning TikTok have come in with respect to uh, discussions around Chinese surveillance, and utilization of, of data that is tracked and the enormous amount of tracking uh, on U.S. citizens that, and data that is harvested by TikTok. And they say because of this egregious amount of data harvesting, we should ban this app. However, that doesn't really address the core of the issue, which is the fact that major social media companies are allowed to collect troves of deeply personal data about you that you don't know about without really any significant regulation whatsoever. In fact, the United States is one of the only developed nations in the world that has no significant data or privacy protection laws on the books. The EU, for example, has something known as the GDPR, which really forces an, an enormous amount of protection on individual users and the amount of data uh, that companies can collect about you without your knowledge. So to me, the solution here is not to ban an individual company, but to actually protect Americans from this kind of egregious data harvesting that companies can do without your significant ability to say no.
And usually when the United States is proposing a very major move that has something to do with significant risk to national security, one of the first things that happens is that Congress receives a classified briefing. And I can tell you that Congress has not received a classified briefing around the allegations of national security risks regarding TikTok. So why would we be proposing a ban regarding such a significant issue without being clued in on this at all? It just doesn't feel right to me. And additionally, this case needs to be made to the public. We are a government by the people and for the people. And if we want to make a decision as significant as banning TikTok, and we believe, or someone believes, that there's really important information that the public deserves to know about why such a decision would be justified, that information should be shared with the public as well. But frankly, I think a lot of this is putting the cart before the horse because our first priority should be in protecting your ability to exist without social media companies harvesting and commodifying every single piece of data about you without you and without your consent. Yeah, okay, pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to argue with that, I I feel. Well, that means it'll probably pass. Flash, please. What? Don't say please. It, don't don't just link shit. She could have mentioned the xenophobia aspect, but good regardless. Yeah, well, you have to pick and choose your battles, I think. I'd be fine existing without social media. Maybe you individually, but to ban an entire social media, I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, okay, I, I don't know why you're linking me a Kurzgesagt video. I can't watch Kurzgesagt, and I don't want to. Have you seen Joe Rogan attacking Sam Cedar? No. When did that happen? Why would that happen? Yeah, linkers have been getting out of control lately. Oh my god, you guys are just being annoying now. Well, okay, is that it then? Are we fine? I should, I should probably, I, I should just ban people when they link. Like, anything. That'd be really good, I think. It, there, it should be, if you link something, and it's useful to me, I don't ban you. But if it's not, I just ban you. I think that'd be a good rule. You should just ban mute more. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm too tired to type right now. I would like do five typos. Man. It's because I had alcohol. It always makes me sleepy afterwards. Oh my god, you're all being so in... Oh! Am I just grumpy today, or are like, or are like 20 of you acting like attention-seeking children right now? What is wrong with you guys?